with the recent developments in the NFL and everything that's going on after this hectic week, um, who's the top five um, in the NFL? Just top five teams, power rankings. Um, so to me, I'm going to go f- top five. I'm going to go five, four, three, two, one. So at five, I have the San Francisco 49ers. Look, they're second in the uh, league in running in the running game, run offense. They are the third best defensive opposition points per game wise so they're keeping you from scoring and they are have they have a great running game they have the, i think they have the best tight end in the league honestly yeah, i think good Kitt- blocking tight end too. i think kittle yeah. might might at this point at least this season he's having a better year than uh, travis kelsey what's weird is their running backs kind of like are no names yeah no they just they, yeah, like just Raida, yeah, yeah they, they just throw them in no yeah. they uh shanahan is, is a guru when it comes to like his offensive schemes and structures they have a great core and they have great coaching i really like their team i only have them at five because i do not trust garoppolo in the playoffs i trust more wilson and i trust more aaron Rodgers and quarters like that quarterbacks like that drew Brees, especially in the nfc so that's why i have them as low as five at four i have the seahawks i think they have the best quarterback in the nfc currently right now uh mvp candidate uh, they have the third best running game in the nfl they added Clowney and Diggs to a defense that didn't seem to be that good going into this year, but they are now pretty good. I trust Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson more than I trust a lot of coaches and quarterbacks in the NFC. And only reason I have them at four is because I don't think they have enough talent. Like, I don't think their roster is good enough to get out of the NFC, but I do like their organization. I like their coach. I like their quarterback. At three, I have the Chiefs. Uh, They are getting healthy at the right time. They are becoming hot. They've won their last two games. They have the best offense and quarterback in the league. Their defense is bad, but it is worth noting that they have improved a bit from last year, especially with the addition of the Honey Badger. The the reason I have them at three is because I I think their coach is a question mark come playoff time. I don't think Reed has showed that he can win the big games in the big moments. He's one of the best play designers in the league, but I don't think he's shown that he has what it takes to win a championship, especially in the playoffs where he's been exposed a little bit. At two, I got the Ravens. They are currently the hottest team in the NFL. They have the best running running game in the whole league. That includes their running back and quarterback as they are both spectacular. They have obviously the MVP right now. They have the best tight end core in the league, and they have a very physical defense. They are very. They kind of remind me of the Panthers from 2015. They're very physical. They're like, we're going to talk smack. We're going to beat you. And there's nothing you can do about it. I love this Ravens team. I have them at two. I think they come out the AFC. At one, I have the New Orleans Saints. I know they just lost to the 49ers, but that was a great game. And that was a very promising game. That was the kind of game where whoever has the ball last is going to win. And it just so happened the 49ers had the ball last. They have been screwed over the last two years by uh, that PI call and just their corner making a terrible play where he literally could have tackled a guy. And they would have uh, been one game away from the Super Bowl. Uh, Breeze and Payton have only won one Super Bowl. I think they're hungry. I think they know their time is almost up and that their time is now. They're a middle-of-the-pack team defensively, but that is such an upgrade from what the Saints have been known to be throughout the years. And they have so many offensive weapons and elite offensive players. They got Breeze, Kamara, and Michael Thomas, who always seems to be wide open. I love the Saints. I think the Super Bowl matchup will be Ravens-Saints. And right now, I think the Saints will win it. Um, <clears throat> respectfully disagree with um some of the takes there, but um generally I really like the teams in the mix. Um, I have the Seahawks at five. Okay. Patriots at four. Um, little little bit of a curveball. I know it wasn't in your top five. No, but, no, um, the pa- I mean the dude, the Patriots are never a bad team to yeah, put in the top. Yeah, five. definitely. Um, I don't know if it really came down to it, and I had to put money on a team in the playoffs. I'd respectfully easily put my money on tom brady Obviously. that's like you yeah. know i've made so much money in my life just i have putting to. my money on I tom have brady to, and to uh, be fair i have to <laughs> so if it, i mean these are my power rankings because i know that pats aren't the hottest team but don't get me wrong they're still my pick i think for the for the championship. Yeah, no, these are these are yeah. picks like obviously the saints aren't the best team right now but we're saying come that time playoff time okay so three i have the 49ers um really yeah. great team i just they have like a new look every big game. Mm-hmm. They like do do like one thing really well, and they kind of uh, have a versatile offense. And especially with Sanders that they got during the season, I feel like that 
That really took them up. I didn't think they were the real deal. Then they got Sanders and and they got the, who's that other wide receiver? Um, the guy that Julian has on his fancy team. What's oh, uh, he's a he's a dude. No, nah, he's been doing really. That well guy's a monster. He's a random wide receiver. Yeah, no, they, <laughs> they make like really random players become like elite. <laughs> it's like I've never heard of any of these guys. No, but if you like, just look Shem, at the plays Shem, they're making. The, their coach is phenomenal. Like yeah, he's I the mean, reason the the Falcons Ravens, were so good I mean, back then. Yeah, it was same scheme as the Ravens. Yeah, but um, if you go to Saints, I have my Saints at the number two spot. At two, okay. Yeah, which is okay. Um. Yeah, like you said, Michael Thomas gets open, best playing route. Like, he's best wide receiver season. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Worth the money. Yeah, 100% worth the money. But um, just tied for the best record in the NFL, I have the Ravens at number one. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I know Lamar has been kind of slowed down. Like, if you could say that, he's had a turnover and I believe like two touchdowns past two games. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like both turnovers are kind of unfortunate and I still think... Nobody really has a true answer. And I think we, it could very well be like the 49ers team with Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. that They could go to the ch championship with Lamar. And I'm not saying they're going to be successful for years to come, but so you, currently right now, nobody could really stop their offense. Yeah, no, they're the most and unstoppable they have, team. Yeah, and they have a defense that's as good as any other defense. So you Especially got, with guys like Earl, Earl Thomas leading them. I just, you got Saints, Raven, and Marcus Peters was a great pickup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes he takes plays off. He's kind of a drama queen, but I nah, do but he's like him. him a lot. Yeah, so you got Saints, him. Ravens, Super Bowl, Ravens winning it as of right now? I, I still had the Patriots winning. You still have the Patriots winning, but you put them third on your list? Yeah. Okay. Fourth. fourth. I put them fourth. I saw, I mean, just uh, Julian Edelman, just a uh, new injury mm -hmm. came to light, and Sanu still injured. Um, I just feel like... They need everyone healthy, and they need their running backs and their offense clicking fully. But I feel like it will come in time, just not right now. Power yeah. rankings, not right now. They they haven't played the part. So what what makes you put the the Niners over the Seahawks? I I feel like they've they've are the most battle tested and versatile. I like the Seahawks, but I feel like their running game is somewhat limited to their yeah. backs. Okay. You know, Chris Carson has had problems in the past. He's getting injured. And then mm -hmm. you have Penny. Penny's great. But in 49ers, they have like four running backs. Four running backs. And I just feel like they have like a lot more able guys. And I feel like I still take the defense of the Seahawks. Uh, quarterback, obviously, Russell Russell gets it. But I right. feel like Jimmy G is playing good enough. Yeah, he's where well. he still has the 49ers still have the edge. But definitely, I could see Russell torching them and winning that matchup. Yeah, when they played this year, obviously the Seahawks won, and it looked like Jimmy G seemed to get a little rattled at the end of that but game. But he has impressed me since. That's the only reason I have yeah. him over. He has like responded. Right? No, Jim, Jimmy G's. Yeah, he's played well, but it just when it comes down to it, I I do think the Niners have a better roster. Mm -hmm. but when it comes down to it, I, at the end of the games, man, I'm, he definitely fold. Yeah, I'm d I'm just taking Wilson over. <clears throat> over uh garoppolo when it comes down to it that's honestly the justification i have the quarterback's the most important position i think the seahawks have a very distinct advantage at that position and coaching i think it's close i, I really like really Shanna. yeah i really like Shanna. i like carol too but i really like Shanna. i just i'm going with the better quarterback in that matchup and i think it should be noted that the niners have the second best running game and that the Seahawks have the third best running game. So there's not really that disparity. Chris Carson's really good. He does have fumble issues. But, I mean, they have the third best running game. And Penny's been a really physical running back. Uh, one more thing. So you did not have the Chiefs in there. What is your no, reason I didn't. for that? Yeah, Um. so I didn't have the Chiefs. <sighs> I don't know. Their defense defense isn't um, all the teams I listed have a better defense than the Chiefs. Right. Easily. Like all those those are probably like honestly one of the best those are best defenses and playoff mm -hmm. playoff time comes, you gotta have a good defense. And I just feel like Chiefs have a lot of bad losses, even when Mahomes has been back. Oh, yeah. The but, Colts. But would would wouldn't you agree them. last year that the Chiefs had a horrible <laughs> defense and that they were one yeah, but they look, false start away from making the, the Super Bowl? They passed the eye test more. I think. Last year? I think when you yeah, I think when you watch them and I think especially Mahomes, Mahomes hasn't been Mahomes is like he had like one touchdown last game. Yeah. I mean not saying I mean just because of the scheme, like obviously they still won, but No, Mahomes has not looked himself offense hasn't as looked good as, as, as 
first year, but I definitely yeah. think that's injury based. Like he's definitely <clears throat> been rattled this year. I think I think they're but getting hundred now. Yeah, but I, I mean they've been <clears throat> winning. They've won their last two games. I think they're getting healthy when it matters. They're putting up points again, and I do think their defense did, in my opinion, get a little better. They're getting more takeaways this year than I did than they did last year with the Honey Badger. And they have to have like a convincing win for me. If they have like a big win going into playoffs, yeah, to like convince me, like I have no problem with playing them in my top five. But they don't look like the same team. So you don't think beating the Pats is a good one? No, no. Because I feel like I mean that's I don't have the Texans up here, and yeah, they played probably better than they did against the Pats. That's true. So you just think because the Pats aren't healthy yet? I yeah, I I feel like the Pats. I the Pats have nothing to worry about. They have the best quarterback. in the history of the NFL with Lord knows how many rings he's going to end up with. That's true. Like, he's about to get eight, probably. Like, I mean, I don't, that's just I'm a Brady, I'm a Brady fan, and Brady's the GOAT, but I, mean, I feel like Mahomes, if they're playing in a playoff game, I think Mahomes is in his prime. Brady is, I mean, he's 45, man. There's so much the you can do at 45. And look, it, at, look at how many players the Chiefs have offensively. They have, uh, they, they have the best offensive weapons in the league, maybe next to the Saints. They have Tyreek Hill. They have uh, Travis Kelsey. I mean, I feel like Kelsey had a better season last year, too. I mean, he did, but I'm saying come playoff time, like all those players are going to play a key But you factor. can look at Brady from like a similar perspective as LeBron and like, oh, he's obviously not going that. They have their playoff spot. They have like, you know, they have their division. And I just feel like... Even with their injury troubles, you don't have to hit the panic button because you know he's done this before, like every single year. And I think, I d- if I call on any quarterback in the playoffs, I call on Tom Brady. Even even with his point right now, just the experience with everything he's done, right? And with that defense, like, no, I'm I'm just like I don't think that's a fair comparison with LeBron because no matter who's on LeBron's team, he can go get points on his own. The quarterback in every position in the NFL, you are somewhat. I was just referring to like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know, being first. I know. at the end of the season, but it's just part of my point. In in the mm-hmm. NFL, any position you're dependent on other position for the quarterback to be successful, you're dependent on your offensive line and your receivers. And the offensive line has not been as good this year. Uh, statistically, Brady has been the worst quarterback in the league when he's been blitzed, and that's not because he's bad at reading a blitz now. Yeah, it's because yeah. he has no time because the offensive line isn't very good and because his receivers aren't good, very good. So they're not getting separation they need from to hit those quick slants that he's so yeah. used Well, yeah, their offense making. is based on quick hits. So Exactly. You know, if you don't have the time to make those quick hits or the blockage, like, obviously it's not going to happen. That's what I'm saying. I think but, if, if Mahomes and Brady had the same weapons going into a playoff se- game, I'm taking Brady. But because the weapons disparity is so different, I would go with Mahomes to have a better game if they were to match up in the playoffs. I feel like New England's methodical with their weapons. Like, I feel like Michelle and White can really... I think, like, they could have a huge playoff game. They could just shred They haven't games. been that good this year, though. I know, but I think, I, Brady's, I, like, I think Brady's thrown, like, one of the most <clears throat> passes in the NFL. That's not on purpose. But even last year, I know it's been like that, but last year I felt like this was, like, a similar thing. But I, I know Tom Brady was doing way better. Yeah. And, I, just, I, mean, I, just I don't even like blame him. I blame we almost go through the, like the same cycle every year where we where we look at the Patriots and we're like, oh, they're favorites, and then the season starts to go, and we're like, oh, like look at all these high scoring offenses, young quarterbacks, all this thing. Then it comes to the playoffs, and it's like same thing every year. That's true, but at at, at one at some point, that's not going to be true. Of I course, think, I think this is the <clears> year that that's not going to be true.